name is Karan Nima. I am from Physics. Today, I'm going to deliver you a famous China fairy tale. The title is Frog Zodiac. Long, long time ago, before the Gregorian calendar and the lunar calendar, people didn't know how to calculate each of their age. They then went to the temple to pray for the heavenly emperor's help. The day emperor, after hearing this, he said, That's right. How do people calculate their age? I will help them find a way. He thought for a long time and finally came up with an idea. He said, The relationship between humans and animals are very good. If animals can represent their human age, they are not only easy to remember but also easy to apply. I will make a race across the river. The top animals to reach the other side of the river will be representative in you. The forest animals, after hearing this, they were so happy. At the time, cats and mice were like siblings. They often eat and sleep together. They often eat and sleep together. When they discussed this issue, the smart and cunning mouse thought to himself, If I could be the friend, Nadia, it will be quick. But I can't swim. How about crossing the river? Then the cat, which also can, cannot swim, came up with an idea and told to the mouse. Meow! I have an idea! Buffalo brother is happy to help others. Let's ask Buffalo to help us. He will help us. The race is coming. That morning, the chickens were still sleeping. The buffalo had come to the river. The cat rubbed his eyes and stood up. The most relaxed at waist. The buffalo smiled at him, then crouched down and said, Mmm, see you guys put contest. Get on my body. I will take you across the river together. They then got on it and started to cross the river. When they started to cross the river, the small slightly thought. If the three of us cross the river together, it means we shall three of us be in a top tree. But I had to get the first place. When the buffalo crossed the river, the mouse pretended to approach the cat. My cat brother, the clouds are so pretty. The cat saw look up. The mouse pushed the cat to the river. The bubble didn't know what happened to its back. The mouse who saw the cat couldn't swim, shouting proudly, Bubble, hurry up! We're almost there! Then it quickly got into the bubble ears. When the bubble was about to reach the finish line, the mouse jumped from the bubble ears to the front of the bubble and got the first place. The second place is Bubble. Not long after, a tiger with a wet body came and so confidently thought that he would be the winner. Finally, the emperor said, You are too slow! You only got third place! The rabbit also took advantage of other animals to cross the river while riding on top of them, and he won the fourth place. The fifth place is dragon. To journey to South China Sea to generate a heavy rain, the sound of thunder was very loud that made the dragon's ear deaf. So now, we go someone who cannot hear in Mandarin, namely Long. It was the same pronunciation as dragon in Mandarin. Next, a large snake came out of the bush and got the sixth place. The seventh place is a horse. Not long after, the goats, monkeys, and chickens also arrived. They used to love to cross the river together. When crossing the river, the monkey sits in the middle. And because it sits for too long, he wrong turns red. That is why monkeys have red monkey wrongs. The chickens originally had four legs, but two of them were crushed by luck when crossing the river. So now the chicken only have two legs. The naughty duck eventually swam slowly to the shore. The back also slowly crossed to the edge of the river, sagging. I'm so tired! I'm so tired! And finally, he 
got 12 plates. The end. Thank you. Shishin.